verbs fall into two basic groups, and they are transitive verbs and intransitive verbs. There, there are a few more subtleties to it, but you can always divide a verb, uh, again, with the exception of the modal verbs, which are weird. Uh, you can always say a verb is either transitive or intransitive. So what does that mean? Uh, well, what we're going to see is that transitive verbs are verbs that have direct objects. So what is that? Okay. Uh, supposing I do that. I hit the board. Uh, there, there's, there it is, in fact. I hit the board. Okay. Now, we, the verb here is hit. Now, if we ask the question, what is hit? Can we answer that question sensibly uh, following what the sentence says? I hit the board. What is hit? I mean, supposing so you, somebody didn't hear the end of the sentence. I hit the board. What, what is hit? And what is the answer? The board. Now, if all that works, and the board is indeed the thing uh, in the sentence, then we can say, that the board is the direct object of hit. And that means that hit uh, is a transitive verb, and it has the direct object board. Board is the direct object. So I checked my watch. What is checked? My watch, direct object. I have a cold. And this may sound a little strange. What is had? Uh, but the answer is a cold. Now, this may give you the impression that, well, what, you know, when isn't there a, a direct object? So, uh, let's look at this one. I am a Welshman. I am a Welshman. Now, notice these questions here. Uh, hit, uh, what is hit, what is had. You can, you know, I broke the lamp. What is broken, the lamp. So, these are all past participles. Uh, that's what the question uh, consists of. So the question, first of all, would be, what has been? I'm a Welshman. The, the verb is am, form of to be. Uh, the past participle of uh, to be is been. What has been? Well, right away, we're not in English territory. This is not an English question. What is been? Uh, you, can't, you can't even say that. Uh, and indeed, what we have here is nothing uh, that you could call a direct object. Uh, and indeed, the verb to be can never take a direct object. Object it is always intransitive. Um, the soup tastes lousy. The soup tastes lousy. Uh, the question would be, what is tasted? Now, you might be tempted to say, well, the soup is tasted. But that, that is not what this sentence says. Uh, notice the direct object <coughs> will typically come uh, unless you're Yoda or something, the, the direct object will come uh, after the verb. Uh, you know, Yoda might say the board is hit by me or something like that, but in normal people it would come after. What comes after tastes, the verb down here, is lousy. Uh, if you ask the question, what is tasted, which would be a sensible question in other contexts, you know, the, the answer can't be lousy. What is tasted? Lousy, that's what. No, uh, here again, there is no direct object, and therefore tastes here uh, is uh, a, an intransitive verb. Now, if the sentence were different, if it were, I tasted the soup, and then you ask, what is tasted? The soup, that's what. There, taste uh, would be a transitive verb with a direct object, the soup. But notice here that uh, the soup tastes lousy. Soup is, in fact, the subject of tastes. Nothing can be a subject and an object at the same time in the same sentence.